Hey y'all, uh, got my new uh, pitted tubes here and uh, I'm going to uh, <clears throat> do another static pressure test and uh, <laughs> they it won't actually work where, uh, where I had them at last time uh, over in here. There's no way for me to get my pitted tube in there. It's hitting on the pan of my uh, my coal pan here. See, it's not long enough for me to get in there. So what I'm going to do is basically, you got to be very careful doing this now. Um, you can get yourself in a world of hurt here. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to drill me a hole in between my pan and this, uh, this bracing here. And, uh, well, actually, that's what the coil door mounts into. But uh, I'm going to try to get right in between there. And I'm pretty sure I can do it. What I've done is uh, I've actually, you know, kind of marked it here on my furnace where I'm going to go. And I actually know the height here. What I do is I, you know, basically put it up to it. See this little black dot here? I've got that at, uh, you, know, right at you know, right in between the, the coil pan and uh, this little uh, doodah here to hold the door on. But uh, let me get after it, and hopefully uh, we don't inflict any damage. Okay, hold on. Okay, y'all, uh, I got my holes drilled. Um, on this, I'm kind of going to go like that dude on that back rack uh, video did for his static pressure. On his furnace, they actually had like a little uh, a nubbin that was on the front. Uh, don't ask me what a nubbin is. But uh, anyway, what I'm going to do here, y'all, is... Uh, this is going to be for my return side of my static. This is before the filter. So I just pop her in there like that. And what I've done is see here, I've marked my marked uh, my pitted tube black so, you know, I'll know which side's up and it needs to go with the airflow. Okay? Let me mark my other one and then uh, I'll show you what I did up here. Um, if y'all are going to do this at home, man, please be very careful. Uh, if you drill into that pan, you're going to have a freaking mess on your hands. So you actually need to pop your doors off and everything and make daggone sure where you are freaking drilling at. Y'all dig? Okay. Okay, y'all. We got the pitted tube. Uh, I went ahead and uh, just took my Sharpie and marked it. Um, and here's our the, the hole we drilled. Um, and it's got to be in between the coil and the furnace. Okay? and uh, please be very careful drilling this hole out if you hit that pan man y'all are in a freaking world of hurt dig so uh, this might be kind of pain to get in here it's so tight but uh, let's give her a shot oh that's not too bad and there we go okay um, I'm running a dual fuel system here. Um, I've got a, a two and a half ton, uh, 13 sear, last of the R22 heat pumps out back. And I'm running a gas fired American Standard 75,000, 90% uh, plus furnace here. So uh, anyway, like my point is, it's, it's, it's kind of cool outside. However, as we determined on that last Mayline uh, uh, manometer video we did, um, that uh, the heat pump is energized on that cooling terminal. So basically, it's still gonna be the same thing whether it is in heat or cooling. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get a static and, uh, and see what's up. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, y'all, let's get after it. Uh, man, I uh, went out and I love these Husky bags. <laughs> I guess I ought to work for the depot, but uh, I do. I mean, they're not expensive. And uh, what I've done with this one is uh, a lot of thieving going on around my neighborhood. And y'all seen how I got my truck locked up, but uh, I'm keeping all my diagnostics in one bag. You know, I've got my my field piece, of course. I'll be utilizing that here shortly. We need that. It's got some jumpers in it. We're gonna jump that uh, furnace out. Uh, here's my May line, and let's see. I've got my uh, my sniffer right there, and uh, this is that uh, SRH2. That's that Target Superheat uh, field piece. I got um, let's see I need I need some tubing okay well let me find that real quick and uh, we'll get after it all right y'all here we are again uh, I dug my hoses out uh, those are wicked too man uh, they're off those pressure switch hoses uh, but uh, anyway they hook directly 
to my pitted tubes perfectly. And what I've done is I've taken my uh, regular hoses I was tested with, inserting them inside that. Um, negative port is this one. How to determine that is I basically stuck my finger over it and when it sucked down, it pulled it into a negative pressure. Okay, well what we're here to do now is we're here to determine what speed the fan motor should be set on. Now, I have a two and a half ton American Standard 13 sear heat pump outside. Two and a half ton equals, well each ton equals 400 CFM. So we're doing a CFM, or CFM to static test is what we're doing. Okay, so one ton is 400 CFM, two tons is eight. And you take half of that, and that's going to be that, that two and a half ton unit I got out back. So we're trying to find 1,000 CFM. And what we're going to do is we have the, uh, the technology to do that. You know, we have uh, engineers that have this designed to what this uh, speed's supposed to run at. So we're going to find our target speed. Just bear with me, okay? Oh, I jumped her out again. I've got her jumped out from the... from the red to the yellow. That way I can just fire straight up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we're gonna start out. Oh shit. Uh, the power is off. <clears throat> we know black is high speed, right? We're gonna start out on black. Let's just pull all these off this cooling terminal and pull them all off everything. Fuck it. All right, black is high speed. We'll start with that. Started. Let's get started. All right, fire in the hole. We're going with that high black wire. See what we got. Okay, I'm gonna call it, uh, man, I'm gonna call it 8.8. .8. It's in between 8.7 and 8.9. That's what I'm calling it at. So that's gonna be 9. Alright. That's the black wire. We're on high. This is my furnace right here. The CUX1B080, yada, yada, yada. All right, we're at, uh, what did we say? 0.87, see I told you. Come on, come on up, 0.8, yeah. 0 0.87, 0 0.89, we'll call it nine. All right, nine, static pressure is 1,147 CFMs. My goodness, we're close. Power's off. All right, let's park it. All right, now we're gonna pull them out. Black is high. Blue is medium high. Blue. There 
There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now it's going to read 8. 7.8, 7 7.9, 7.8, 7.9. Alright, we're going to call that 7.9. Alright. We have the blue wire going. The blue wire is medium high. Alright, here's the furnace. And what were you at? 7.8. Let's just call it 8. Alright, let's just call it 8. At 8 on the blue. Oh my goodness. 8 on the blue is 10.56. Man, we are shooting for 1,000 CFM. This is going to trick me out if it works. Let's get after it. Make sure it switches off. It is. There's the blue on the cool. I'm going to take that blue and put it on that heat. That's where I want it. Well, I'm hunting for the yellow. Where are you? There you are. Got the other on now. Love it. Seven point or point seven. All right, Ken. I'm just gonna call it point seven, okay? All right, point seven. Our furnace. Look, point seven. We were looking for a thousand CFM. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Point seven nine eight two. Point eight ten fifty six. Look, man, I've had it on the yellow for a while. She's going on the blue. Alright, thanks for watching.